Hello everyone, it's been so long. Hope you people are doing great. Today, we shall look at how to deal with a nonlinear hyperelastic contact analysis in SOLIDWORKS simulation. Here, you can see the CAD model where I have a holder and the pipe. I'll be fixing this pipe and I'll be trying to make this pipe move inside the holder. So, this holder is made with a plastic material that is arsenic and the pipe is made up of a rubber like material which obeys the movie Rivlin material model. So we will also give the surface contact for the external face type and the internal faces of the holder. Upon the completion of the study we will master how to give the contacts and how to deal with the non-linear hyperelastic material in soil work simulation. Let's get started. As we have a nonlinear material in here, we need to go with the nonlinear study where we could create a nonlinear study here. Going into nonlinear, make sure it is selected and yeah, we'll be getting into the interface of nonlinear. Going into the properties, make sure you'll be giving the start and end time with the number of adjustments. And also going into the advanced options, just change the singularity illumination factor to zero. Okay, once we are done, we have two parts here, one the holder and the pipe. For the holder, as being said, I will be looking for the plastic material. Yeah. There only we will be finding the arsenic. So these are the properties of it. Apply the material. Yes. Done. And for the pipe, we have made a custom material. You could see in the custom materials, we have made rubber like material. These are the properties of it. Apply it as well. We are done with the application of the material. Now I will assign the contact sets. I will be selecting the external faces of the pipe and the internal faces of the holder. Clear? Done. Now coming into the fixtures, I just want to fix it. Fix this edge and it should be free to move for 2.678 that is the distance required for that edge to get in contact with this edge so that should move in x direction so i have selected the direction here and it should be making its movement in negative direction so i'll be assigning the negative sign so with reference to the front plane no, now it it's done. Yeah. A another fixture is for the remaining two edges here. One and two. And I'll fix them in Y and Z directions. With respect to front plane again. You can see those are fixed in Y and Z. Yeah. Now we are done with that as well. And the most important thing is to fix the holder. So all the six degrees of freedom for that particular phase has been completely restrained. Now going into the mesh, create mesh with a maximum element size of 0.12. Done. We are done with the mesh and now just run the analysis. We are done with the solving. Now it's time for the post process. So initially let me look for the displacement and yeah let me animate it. So this is how our part behaves. So this is how it is getting displaced. We shall move on to the stress. Like you could see the stress here. On this for the sixth step, this is the value we've got. And let's see for the other in step eight, we did not get any of the high stresses. The highest is at the sixth step yeah you can see at the sixth step we have got the maximum stress if you want to be more precise let me animate it you can see at the sixth step the stresses are high so this is how solver simulation helps us to understand the physics behind the nonlinearity of material so you could make use of these processes to get the best results out of solver simulation Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.